what i can do is okay we are already like 2014 so i'll do subscription order yeah i wanted to give another example but i think it's the same so we can use yeah. subscription order example now okay uh for your subscription order your uh, standard transaction type is prvo okay since okay. here for for your uh, solution code it was srvp for your yeah. solution or uh, subscription order it's prvo okay it is okay. kind of let's say your subscription order is kind of a special sales order uh yeah. which you can use to sell product bundles that consist of consist of physical products and services and in connection with your provider contract it supports the sale of uh, whatever your uh, products and services are uh, yeah. it, and you can assemble and offer these in a in a similar way so it's like it's like the same as solution quotation only but uh, what i've seen is like solution quotation is being uh, widely used look, let's say for now okay now once your sub when your subscription contract has been released a new subscription contract is automatically created and uh, let's say your items with a short lifetime let's say your sales time once stay in the order and items with a long lifetime let's say long duration they become part of a contract so your provider order it can be used as sales order for selling products and services for creation of a con- subscription contract and also your change order for provider contract changes so you can also make any ch- subsequent change orders to your provider order okay yeah. so this is how your provider subscription order looks basically you have prvo you have all these different fields you have subscription order details items parties involved date system status if you see all this is specifically uh, in brim in subscription order management you will see that there are uh these fields which get uh, repeat repeat repetitive for quotation order as well and at item level you have your uh, uh products basically which get added so one okay. is your once the first what you do is you add add your sold to party based on that your address uh, employee responsible all this gets updated then you add your product at item level so let's say if you are using a, a service product or a sales product based on that you have your uh, product it's you can add your product then you assign your contract account then if you see here there is this parties involved over here you have your bill to party sold uh, ship to party etc if you want to make any changes you can if you're if you want to make any change to your employee responsible or contact you can do that also then you have partner functions which is basically all this this is the same uh, list of parties will have all your partner functions if you want to make any changes you can use it over you can change it over there so let's say by default if you have something which flows Uh, for for that particular sold to party, and if you want to change it, you can also change it over here. You you have that option of of changing the partner function in uh, at uh, dynamic level uh, in the subscription uh, order. And okay. then sixth is your partner ID, which gets generated. So all these will be a part of your header, subscription order header. Okay. You see. So one That's question is, the, yeah. When would you use a subscription order versus when would you use a solution quotation? What's the difference? is it more like a, they are used interchangeably or is more like solution quotation is used across different types of products like a so tangible products subscription warranty one time installation etc then you would use solution yeah. quotation whereas if it's only specific subscription items only you will use a subscription order not the tangible products so if there are uh, so if you see for bundle products you will yeah. use a solution quotation and if you have any stand alone products then you can use a subscription order So if you want to use a, a standalone products like let's say if you are using a sales order with just a one time fee then you can okay. you can use a in in any case you can use a a, a, a solution quote also but mm-hmm. uh, pro- product bundles are more prevalent uh, with the use of solution quotation i see so product bundles you'll usually use solution quotation whereas if it is standalone they will use a subscription order okay so once your subscription order is released in this case what you do is you don't have any uh, uh, you don't have to release any uh, thing at item level so at your mm-hmm. uh, quote level you had like uh, you had a different uh, this thing like you had to release your uh, items right your status had yeah. to be released and then you had to basically uh, uh, go and accept the quote in this case you don't have anything like that what you can mm-hmm. do is you can uh, re- you can release uh, your subscription order and once you release just save and release in that case your a new provider contract will get created so let's say if you have uh, uh, recurring items with a longer duration that can be created uh, with provider contract and your sales item will get created in sales order and one of similar to uh, what we had in uh, uh, in this quote uh, your one off charges it can be sent to ci directly 
or they can also be linked to a subscription contract for CC to generate the bit. Okay. So your one off charges, uh, it's not that. So CC can generate all CC can generate usage. CC can generate one time and yeah. CC can also generate recurring mm -hmm. based on whatever uh, use, uh, uh, scenario you have. Okay. Let's say if you have simple recurring scenarios, you use billing plan. If there are very complex proration involved or anything, then you can use a, uh, you can use convergent charging similar one time. If you want your one time to be, uh, if you want a one time or a one off charge to be uh, to be generated from CC, then you will always have a provider contract reference to it. Okay. And if if you don't want to generate it using CC, then you what you can do is you can straight you can straight away generate it uh, generate the one off from CC to uh, from SOM to CI. In this case, you won't have a no provider contract reference, so you would okay. only see a standalone bit for that. Next is your subscription contract. So yeah. subscription contract is uh, basically a final document. Let's say your standard transaction type is your PRVC for this, and yeah. it is what manages the long term agreement for a technical service that the pro company offers to the provider, the company offers to the customer. So it is mm -hmm. represent, represented by a main rate plan item within a provider contract document. It and it can a subscription contract document may contain one or more provider contracts. And it's not that it is always dependent on each other. Like if they contains multiple provider contracts, they are not dependent. And these components are there. So if you see you have dates, you have subscription specific data. Let's say if, if it's uh, relevant to CC, you will have your charge plan assignment. You will have the billing model fulfillment status configuration data. If your product is configurable contract history, let's say if you are you have done multiple changes to your contracts, then you can have that sales items and fees and also life cycle processes. If you see this is a if you see here, this is your subscription contract document if you see. So this is mm -hmm. PRVC and if you see here there you have you can have multiple uh, contracts associated with it. In this in your subscription contract if you see you have a provider contract linkage over here. In this if you see uh, this 1001 uh, is your subscription contract and below this there is a provider contract. So you might have multiple uh, provider contracts over there. In this case, let's say if you see here, if you create, if you release this right, one subscription contract document will get created. If you see here, because there is one and you have multiple contract provider contracts associated. You won't have like, uh, uh, you won't have just one particular uh, your provider contract. You have multiple provider contracts available over there. In this case, in this particular case, we see that there is just one and it also has a, it also has a history. So let's say whatever uh, provider contract changes are there, it will always be there as part of your history. If you see here, there is a history of contract, this particular contract, which is a link to this particular subscription contract document. And yeah. uh, you will have yeah. that particular uh, contract uh, history over there. As part of your subscription data, you see, it will tell you whether that's a contract creation or a change. If it will tell you your uh, billing cycle, so let's say it's monthly, uh, it's annual, quarterly, whatever it's there. And it will also tell you your payment procedure where it's postpaid or next is your uh, master agreement. So your master agreement is again uh, another type of transaction data in uh, in this thing in subscription order management. And uh, the app, the Fury app which is used is uh, manage master agreement and it focuses on the creating of a uh, master data, master agreement over here. So if you see here, a master agreement is basically an agreement between a service provider and a customer and it usually manages B2B scenarios. Uh, it will be the uh, what's there is that it will be a set of doc conditions which is defined uh, between the provider and the customer that takes effect as part of call off documents. Okay, There will be call off documents which will be available and that is what uh, and this set of conditions will be defined as part of this particular master agreement and based on these set of conditions you will have uh, whatever call off documents are there. And it controls this particular follow. You can also have uh, whenever there is partner settlement or anything involved, you you have to use a master agreement. Your partner settlement, partner procedure. Uh, let's say if you're using let's say a, a revenue sharing or anything, you need to have a master agreement. Uh, you know, you need to have a master agreement. Okay. Okay. What is this master agreement control? It can tell you what partners are allowed to receive which products at what conditions, what price a customer will pay for a product or service. What discounts can be applied during the discounting process in CI 
and also in addition for subscriptions which are invoiced in CI in what form and to whom the invoices are pre presented for the products or the services received. So you can have all the, these four options over there. Uh, what okay. partners are allowed to receive and what conditions uh, the price a customer will pay your discounts and also uh, in addition for whatever subscriptions which have been invoiced in what form and and to whom the invoices are present so key facts and, uh, uh, is it uh, optional to have master agreement you don't have to have right correct yeah so let's say if you don't have any partner settlement fee if you don't have discounts and if you don't yeah. have uh, like different invoice forms or uh, different invoice uh, uh, let's say types which need to be sent to different consumers based on subscriptions then you can uh, use you can go with either solution code or provider uh, or subscription order it's not necessary okay. so you have these once you create uh, these are different features you create your master agreement in the at the manage, manage uh, master agreement create option in fury then you assign your products uh, assign your business partners maintain the configuration uh, and then you can in cross catalog mapping is basically whatever if there is a applicable charge which gets generated from cc you will have to map the charge plan to that particular product then you can have uh, specific prices based on different master agreement so you can define that then you release your master agreement uh, items you replicate your master agreement in fica you display the invoice agreements discount agreements and invoice list agreements then you display related subscription orders contracts and solution codes and these are replicate related objects to your uh, these master agreement items then based on this you can create a subscription order or a solution quotation also from a master agreement you can create these two these can be called up from a master agreement and you okay. auto determine auto determine the master agreement during the creation of a uh, solution subscription order or a solution quotation you can do that also okay this is how you create your master agreement in uh, in s4 so this is cc this is s4 so you have let's say you have your uh, internal sales representative, which is creating a master agreement in S4 service. You enter your master agreement partner. So this is basically a business partner over here. Then you assign a then you assign a product uh, to that a product. So if you see if there is if that product is uh, applicable for a rate to be generated from CC, then you do the cross catalog mapping with the charge plan. Okay. Then you configure that product. Configure a product basically means let's say let's take these examples for now. Now these product, this particular a laptop can have multiple uh, characteristics or uh, parameters, right? Let's say if your RAM is 8 GB, 16 GB, whatever touch screen, it can be yes or no. Okay. Is it a touch screen laptop or no? So your screen size, let's say if it's 14.6 or 10.6, okay. The warranty service, let's say you have a warranty service option for either one year or two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you configure, uh, when you add this particular product at uh, an, uh, in a, any particular uh, transaction data, let's say if it's a quote or a, or a particular this thing or a, a subscription order at item level, you will have to go and and if that product at this particular product, what you have to do is there is a uh, at your master data product is configurable check which needs to be maintained. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only if it's maintained as yes then you can add all these characteristics to it or these are all characteristics which are part yeah. of this product all of these are mm -hmm. characteristics characteristics or parameters you can call both in cc it's called as uh, parameters in in some you can call it as characteristics okay now when you create when you add that particular product over there in a in a subscription order it will ask you always if if a product is configurable it will always ask you to configure the product 